This tutorial explains how to add a straight line to a ggplot2 plot in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data contains five rows and two columns, which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines eight and nine of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that at the top right of our studio, a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of our studio by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a scatter plot with five data points in R. However, you can also see that at this point, no straight line has been added to the plot yet. So let's assume that we want to add a horizontal line to this plot. Then we first need to specify at which y-axis location we want to add this horizontal line. And we can do that as you can see in line 12. So in this case, I want to add a horizontal line at the y-axis location 8.7. So if you run line 12 of the code, you can see that a new value object is appearing at the top right, which is called age line. And if we want to add a horizontal line at this location, we can use the code that you can see in lines 14 to 16. So in line 14 of the code, I'm specifying the name of our plot object that we have created before. And then I'm adding to this the geom age line function. And within this function, I'm specifying the y-intercept of our line to be equal to the h-line object that we have created before. And then, this is optional, I'm also specifying that I want to add a text label, which is defining the value of our h-line or the axis location of our h-line. And I'm doing that by using the geom text function, as you can see in line 16 of the code. And within this function, I'm specifying the name of our H line, and I'm also specifying that I want to draw the value of this line as label, and I'm also specifying the positioning of this label. So if you run lines 14 to 16 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated, and now our plot contains a horizontal line at the y-axis position 8.7, and this y-axis position is also shown as text label within the plotting area. So in this first example, I have explained how to add a horizontal line to our plot. However, it's also possible to add a vertical line to our plot. And this is what we are doing in the next example, starting in line 18 of the code. So similar to the previous example, we first need to specify the axis location at which we want to draw this vertical line. So this time we want to draw our vertical line at the x-axis position 3.3. So if you run line 18 of the code, another values object is appearing at the top right, which is called vline. And then we are using basically the same code as in the previous example, but this time we are using the geom vline function instead of the geom hline function as we did before. So if you run lines 20 to 22 of the code, you can see that our plot is updated once again. And this time we are only showing our vertical line at the x-axis location 3.3, and this value is also shown inside of the plotting area. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. 
Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.